Good afternoon, wonderful viewers. It's your favorite TV, Fine TV, Gambia, your only viewpoint. We are here in Brikama to witness the nomination of the independent candidate who is no other than Ahmed Jite. Ahmed Jite is a member of the National People's Party. National People's Party is a party that is led by the President of the Republic of the Gambia. His Excellency President Adama Baro. Ahmed Jide initially wanted to stand as the candidate for his party in this year's local government elections. Unfortunately for him, his party decided to come up with another candidate who is no other than CDCC. Jide now decided to stand as an independent candidate for this year's chairmanship election. Here he is accompanied by his people to the Independent Electoral Commission here. Stay connected as we show you how the event unfolds here. This is Fine TV Gambia, your only viewpoint. I'm 
There are many reasons as to why I believe the people of West Coast should vote for me. First and foremost, it is the people of the Gambia that sent me to go and study outside. It is their taxes that they used to send me out. Of course, I am not the only individual that was sent outside. But after having my education, uh, of course, I went to a country that is first class nation in the world. With all the opportunities that are available in that country and with all the opportunities that country offered me, I still decided that I should come back and give back to the poor that uh, put together their resources to educate me. That's number one. Um, number two, I'm a young man with a lot of development programs for my people. People that I know and have lived with through thick and thin. I was born and raised in West Coast region. I have been to almost every single community through voluntary work as a Red Cross volunteer and through politics as an active youth of um, a political party that um, I have been a member of. So I know the problems of our people, problems of water, problems of education and scholarship for our children, problems of um, um, waste management, problems of environment, problems of healthcare, problems of infrastructure. So these are things I know and I've put plans in place to uh, make sure that uh, when I get this position, I would definitely uh, change the situation of our people for better. And our people know about it. And, and these are some of the oh, reasons as well. Any plans for your people in order to empower their needs? A lot of times people get into issues of drugs if they are either stressed and have no you know, uh, 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 solutions to some of these problems. I know drugs are a huge problem in our country. And um, central government as a role, but as a local government, we would like to engage young people into meaningful development activities, either through sports or entrepreneurship programs, as you are aware. There are a lot of, there are a lot of um, young people who finished university, who finished college education, but are not able to um, uh, get jobs to help either their parents or their families that they've established. So if they go through these troubles and these stresses, 
they try to get consoled, you know, they try to get happiness from somewhere, like drug addiction. We would like to, as I've said over and over, uh, put in place a program that will allocate at least 30 million dollars for the young people of this uh, region, just for entrepreneurship programs. What are your priorities, so in case you happen to win this year? Number one priority is to make sure that we understand um, the problems that are, you know, in the council as an administration. How many staff do we have? How much income do we generate? And uh, what is our balance sheet? Are we generating income? Are we not? Are there deficiencies? We know there are, but uh, how how big are these, or how serious are these problems? We would like to understand those. But when we are able to get that, you know the local government at 2002 has a lot of problems. It limits the uh, powers and the ability of the council. So we would like to look into that holistically with our National Assembly members and stakeholders to make sure we appeal to central government to either amend the local government act to, uh, uh, to empower and give a lot more independence to uh, local governments to be able to deliver the much needed development that our people want. The other priority is to help educate our young people through provision of scholarships. Waste management is an issue. As you all aware, a healthy environment is a wealthy environment. And if we want to stay healthy and go about our economic activities, we must be a healthy society. And that is possible most importantly through you know prevention and you can only prevent these things if you clean your environment so we will be um, uh, managing our waste we'll be collecting and we'll be getting the much needed resources to get that we also have these 30 million dollars that we would like to allocate for our young people as you're aware there are a lot of opportunities a lot of our bananas come from Guinea Conakry a lot of uh, chicken come from the West. Sometimes they spend almost eight months on the way before they land in our markets here. We have opportunities for the young people to be allocated money to venture into poultry farming to produce meat. We would also empower them to into poultry farming to produce eggs for us. According to the Local Government Act 2002, Birkama Area Council is mandated to run the affairs of its area, yeah. to administer it, mm -hmm. and to prepare the welfare of residents living within West Coast. Yes. And considering West Coast having rural and urban, yes. how prepared are you to fulfill that mandate if you are elected? <clears throat> well, very, very prepared. As I've said, preparations are, 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 are very clear from our end. Since we declare our intention publicly, We've come forward with our policies and programs, our nine-point agenda. We will help deal with environmental issues that are affecting us, especially in the coastal areas. We have issues, you know, with unemployment in our region. We have a lot of corrupt cases, as per the report of the Auditor General's office, um, that, um, you know, there are a lot of corrupt activities at the council level. And I believe these are things that we must uh, cope, we must... Uh, um, you know, uh, uh, reduce to either zero or to a level that it's not going to affect the overall interest of our people. And, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to do this through digitalization of tax and rates collection. We, as, as I said, are also going to um, get our young people supported in, in terms of sports. We have those that are disabled in our communities. We will provide scholarships for them. We will provide job opportunities for uh, 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 people. Now, ten to now, Jai Albena, the journalist, only Nyenkari, Kendeke, Nyenkari, only the Keka Wolonga, Mumplan, the Soromoli, coming journalist, only the the Kajala, the Dunga, for the forty k four, for Dolu, Dolu funding, the only the Nki Karamola, the other banko, Ming Kambe, the Ming Karandale, Nga Kuduteje, Mbedo Kola, Jela Manza Kunda. Adundol funding ke olumi mbijam ka fo mole ne play no lon bijam e ko mo jalla lafta tala canada aldo mo de tula jam funding ke ol kot nde ngo opportunity le sodo n karanda nga doku kende sodo je bari mo le li na karambu ngo jo mo le li e kodo ka fu nyoma fuare le mu bama nyon lim fama nyon so wo li a jo min ka mo lom nintadan karanda 
nse muru nang ngami nkarangana ngantesidi ngam banko yiri wandi ko ndata da men karangolo ya kenya men nata wala jam nga fere wala soro ni nata nyi mansa kundari mwoto wala mbi kama eri akanzuldi mbe mingel ka funding ke wala makwai ka kodo kafu nyoma ka korupsono bayi ka sunyaro bayi ka mekso marseo lunge soto barate kela biri kama marseo damati gunjuru bije sukuta bije fenge burfudu nyolu bije yeta afofo nyi nyolu ka marseo dada adulado ka nanyolu mako ifanang gadi nolu nitata nanyolu nakolto jamal man sansang balu wo jama bando la wesko sa akabo agrikolto leto wo jama afana akabo nakol leto nakol jamal man sansang mbama nyolu ka firo ke ni bat ni ake foy putata e nafa dama be yango liya beti nya so ndol ba mekso la nga oke fendi miya lo konge la nakol sansang nga jiyo lu nge mako e wolto adumba mekso la fanang nga dulal sene andi nga ofo jande sene amu jata kende al ndo la waste cost mbe koma bake nana ta sene ala fanna ala in terms of waste management nyil mu fen neti mini alonko ananyon jamal amsoko ninta ta politiko kono wato tige altol journalist ol betarana normale mbe kalla fulale la ngamin soro mbe senkan na nge senkan bari nafta be dan la mina nye kuma kilim bako ndenim politika padi sembe ma balel be nyola molel ka karte ou faye politikal pati liye ika faye dali lor min kamma wolem ye jikole soto ko politikal pati yo liye mol min londi ibe kutute ele ele wo kutute yi kilimo moli yo le jiko soto ndo fomu politikal pati yo di fom manke politikal pati yo di mu dinne di miye kutu o jay nso beata adunga londo soto adun tilinta fanang so moli yi nyin sude nto le so politikal pati sembo ma wara mol te minu ka karte ou faye wo molu political card party yol kada minu no makarte dano la nte wole li yel londi yko nye mbatata le mako yi na aye lonye wole hati na lota independent malo political party toya la bari nanyol ni mbaba nyol ni mfondi nke olu ijikitana la adibe mako yi la si sobe yalla nyudem chakanam chakanam afer bi safan tela kula saf kula saf ma saf you know a a a jigeni te ma saf Eh eh gori gori masaf hale ak ndawi jide why why lolo fla ne ka di wax ni mané man eh ndawla dama buga ñep xamné ñun ñew nañ fi pour liggey canada la joggé té amna fofu ngour canada liggey bu bax way ñew na parce que fi moñu e e e saf fi la ño judo fi la ño buga pour liguey ngeen dama buga ngeen xam lolu ni len jaa how ma ñom ñaari man luma xam moy dana win i am going to win 100%